hi guys in this video we are going to solve this problem exponentiation 2 and here we have to calculate a raised to b raised to c modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 and values of a b c can be up to 10 to the power 9 so now let's see how we can solve this problem so a raised to b raised to c we are having so if you have tried something like this b raised to c taking modulo with p and then for this modulo again taking like a raised to r and taking modulo with p then this is not going to work but if you have tried like this then you are actually there so now we will see actual approach so here we are going to use a theorem called permit little theorem and what are this theorem states is a raised to p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo P. if p is a prime number and p does not divide a so if p is prime number now we will prove it so so we will be having numbers like 1a 2a 3a and up to p minus 1 into a now to prove what we will do we will just take remainder with p of is this number so we will get something like r1 r2 r3 up to r p minus 1 and now the claim is that these values will be unique so how do we prove this claim so i will make a counter assumption that these are not unique so i will pick any two numbers x a and y a then what i will do i will say something like this x a is congruent to y a modulo p when x is not equal to y and we will prove this that this is wrong okay so i will move this y a in left side and then i will take this modulo so x a minus y will be congruent to 0 modulo p okay now this a we can take out so it will become a into x minus y which is congruent to 0 mod p now uh, p is a prime number and it does not divide a so this we are assuming so in that case this x minus y has to be 0 for this equation to be true why because x and y are less than p so this and a uh, this p can't divide because we have already made an assumption so this means this x minus y is equal to 0 and this x equal to y so this proves that all these values are values will be unique so these values will be unique only and since we are taking with the remainder so only possibility for remainder is from 0 to p minus 1 and a 0 we will not be having because for any number like x a so a is not divisible by p and x since it is less than p and p being a prime number x can't divide p so the uh, 0 it can't be there in case of r so they will be from 1 to p minus 1 so we can't say uh, what will be the order but it will be all numbers will be from 1 to p minus 1 and unique now let's prove the statement a raised to p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo p so for that what we will do we will multiply this 1 a to a 3 a like this so in right hand side this value we will put so r1 r2 we are having and they are from 1 to p minus 1 so what we can say like they will be like p minus 1 factorial modulo p and how i am able to write this because they are from 1 to p minus 1 and all are unique okay and in left hand side this 1 2 and up to p minus 1 are multiplying so we can write p minus 1 factorial and this a is coming 
p minus a, a time sorry p minus one time so we can say like a raised to power p minus one this is congruent to p minus one factorial and modulo p so now this p minus one factorial and p are co prime we can say like p will not divide p minus one factorial and they are not ha having any common factor so these we can safely remove so this will be a s to p minus one congruent to one modulo p okay so now we have proved this that this a raised to power p minus 1 is a congruent to 1 modulo p so which basically means if you are taking modulo with p then this a raised to p minus 1 will come as 1 so now see let's see how we can use this to prove solve our question so we are having our a raised to b raised to c so the idea is like this b to c b raised to c we can convert like to something like this r plus p minus 1 into s so that this r is less than p and uh, sorry r is less than p minus 1 so what basically r is is remainder when we are uh, taking remainder with uh, of b raised to c with p minus 1 okay so now what we can do this b raised to c we can replace with this r plus p minus 1 into s and since they are addition of power so we have this term a x plus y not theorem so a x plus y we can write like a x into a y okay so this will become a raised to r into a raised to p minus 1 into s okay now this we can further simplify so it will be a raised to p minus 1 this whole raised to s okay and this we can write since a raised to x y is equal to a raised to x and whole raised to y okay and if you are taking remainder then this remainder will go inside with this power s so it will be like this raised to s take remainder with p and this value we have proved is 1 when p is a prime and p does not divide a which will be our case because p is 10 to the power 9 plus 7 and a will be less than a equal to 10 to the power 9 so this is 1 so 1 raised to s is 1 and take remainder with p it will uh, come out as 1 okay so now our solution to the problem will be simple so for a raised to b raised to c first we have to find out this much remainder with p minus 1 for this b raised to c and once we have find out this remainder with p minus 1 then this a raised to r for this we have to take remainder with p and that will be our solution now i will code it okay uh, before coding uh, we can see its time complexity so here we are calculating this power b raised to c one time and then this a raised to r again so two times we are calculating this power so for calculating this power we will use binary lifting so this we can do in order of log time so time complexity for this will be log now let's see how we can write code for this so i am going to use a long long here because values are big 10 to power 9 so when multiplying they will overflow in this range so i will write our method which so will take a number for which we have to find out the power then second argument at power and third argument the value with which we have to take modulo so i will initialize our answer with one take another variable a equal to num and then i will do something like this while our power is there with not zero so i will see if last width is set in that power so if it is set that means we have to include this power inside our answer so we can say like answer equal to answer into a and take remainder with mod and this a's power we will double so if it is a then it will become a square if it is a square then it will become 8 power 4 so like that 
and then this last bit we have already considered so we will remove this using right set operator and then we can return our answer so that's it now I will take input into t c while t minus minus here I will declare a variable mode and int a b and c so I will get remainder of b c b raised to c so power b c with the mode minus 1 like p minus 1 we were doing there then answer will be power a raised to this remainder and with modulo mod so this we can test this in input i have already given okay so we are getting this and this should be correct is this is correct so i will copy this and test it it is working now so make another file Okay, I will submit it now. So this is accepted. So if you have any problem in understanding this solution, then you can ask in comment section. And in next video, we will see this next problem counting divisors. And by that time, thank you for watching this video guys. See you in next video.